Welcome back to Living 808. The January issue of Honolulu Magazine is on stands right now. Here to tell us about the issue and about a great foodie event happening in March, Robbie Dingman, editor at Honolulu Magazine, and Nadine Wasada, who's with American Savings Bank. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us here. Every issue, such a great issue, though. But this one I like because it features so much. Tell us about the January issue. We love, this is one of our favorite issues. It does have our Haleaina Awards. So the readers vote on Haleaina Awards and decide what are the best restaurants. And then we have a couple things that we weigh in on. And so this issue highlights some of the best restaurants. Those hardworking, amazing people who make our foodie lives so much better. And so we've got great, uh, Catherine Toth Fox, our food and dining editor, led the coverage. And she has this great piece on Colin Nishida from Side Street Inn. Mm -hmm. We've got something on Arancino, which is the great, amazing food on the cover, including how they got it, that restaurant got its name and it's a cool family-run business and we've got some other things in addition to food we've got some of our sour poi awards which is like our parody of the fun news that doesn't show up elsewhere and that's a lot of fun and then we have a new section called spaces and it's about the cool places where spaces where we work spaces where we play and how to make them better and so we have some cool things including a, a, a setup of local blankets that are on that ladder right there oh. and so um, you know we're all shivering because it's been in the 60s so we thought yes. that was the right thing to do it's time for two sweaters in Hawaii right exactly when it gets into the right. 60s <laughs> <laughs> right the magazine always known for its foodie events and restaurants there's a new one coming up in March can you tell us more about it we're very excited about this new one. It's Brunch Fest, and it's coming up in March. And we're happy that Nadine, them are uh, partnering with us. And you can tell it, tell us about the lineup of restaurants. Yeah. No, thank you. We're so excited to be part of such an awesome event. So part of the um, part of it is to really support our local local small businesses and you know our culinary uh, culinary community. So some of the lineups, uh, restaurants at the lineup are Herringbone Waikiki, mm. Coco Head Cafe, Cafe Kalia, and one of my personal favorites, MW. Mm -hmm. And 7-Eleven Hawaii will be there with a mimosa and a Bloody Mary bar. So, I love this event too because a lot of people might not know that these restaurants, A, are around, or B, serve brunch, which is hot. It's, it's a hot thing to do is you know, lunch is a little bit late, dinner's even later. Let's just meet in between. Let's go to brunch, right? Is that why this event was kind of chosen? Yeah. Kind of a relaxing event and enjoy the entertainment and just be able to spend, you know, time with your friends and loved ones. But just a relaxing event and just enjoy and indulge. Yes. And so it is in March coming up. Yes, March 25th, Sunday from 11 to 2. Mm -hmm. And it's at, our, at Salt and Kaka'ako. And it's just an amazing, uh, fun event put together just because, you know, brunch is that thing that falls in between. It's not like a commitment like, oh, we spend another <laughs> night. It's more fun, something you do with friends, something you do with family. Mm -hmm. It just feels like the right kind of event for us. And it, we were happy that a lot of the restaurants that jumped on board are, you know, some of the f most fun, some of the most interesting, but also some of the new ones. So you can go to the event and try a little bit of everything in one place. And that's always kind of a cool value yes. as well as a fun thing to do. So how can people get tickets? On our website. Okay. HonoluluMagazine.com. Look at that. Yes. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> she <laughs> was ready. She is. And it's in March, so plenty of time, right? There it March is. It's, and it's general admission tickets are $50. And wow. That's good. It is a it is a good value. Uh, we actually had VIP tickets, but they're sold out. So I'm happy to say that. But wow. um, so it's a good time to get out there and do it and plan plan ahead. March, we've got some time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, ladies, for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. In the epic finale to the Maze Runner 